Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gonzo Airsoft. This is Major Clanger. Okay, form up on the laptop. We're back at Land Warrior Airsoft for one of the uh, longer games that we played on this uh, particular Sunday. This is a 45 minute okay, game and possibly one of my favourite games I've played in certainly in the last couple of months. There are five laptops scattered across the site. They split into two teams and the objective is to be the team who has the most laptops back at a designated point. Uh, in this case it is a, a downed aircraft at the end of 45 minutes. Now an extra little twist is in order for you to move the laptop you need to secure it and to do that you need to stay with the laptop for 10 minutes. You join us just at the end of the 10 minutes, we've secured a laptop, we're moving it Right, what's the, what's the score? What's going on? There was a laptop in this space and it's taking them a few minutes okay. now to Do we know what the situation move is that the on. Okay, Nick, don't get shot for fuck's sake. Each of the teams also have three medics and we split ourselves That's into three kind of subgroups. The other back. One team have gone ahead to secure the plane. One team were in the, the base that we've just passed, they were securing the, the laptop there. The team that I'm in have secured the laptop that was closest to our spawn point. With the idea that we were going to try and secure three of the laptops, move them to the, the plane and hold it there, let the enemy worry about the other two. Because we're split into different groups, the chances of team What's killing are quite high. So, uh, in order to combat that, we've come up with a, a challenge and response that uh, you'll hear. Uh, this site doesn't use any sort of team tape or camo restrictions, so communication really was the key here. Do we control the plane? Yeah, well, we've got one of the laptops. So that was our call and response. Our uh, call was Jack and the response was Rabbit. I gave the call and the, the correct response came back. So this guy in the far side of the path telling okay. me that he, he has spotted some enemy movement up down, further down the path. The thing I like about these these longer games with a slightly more involved objectives that it takes it beyond the level of uh, just two teams fighting each other. If I ever play computer games like Battlefield, etc., then I always find that I gravitate towards the more objective-based games rather than the, the deathmatch. And I think that is because whilst I consider myself a reasonable shot in in airsoft. I think where I do, I am quite strong, is as a, as a team player, communicating and playing the objective. You see a shot whiz past me here. He's hit. And the hit. second the follow-up shot is, is accurate. So with, with only three medics in play, it's important that uh, that they're on the spot and they get us back in. But here's Nick in the in the black top. He's with me. Back in. You would have heard us at the start trying to rein him in. He's a he's a good enthusiastic player, but as a, as a medic, we couldn't afford him to get isolated and, and killed early. Wilkie, go around the back. Go around the back. Go around the back. I'm telling a team member to go around the back there because we know that uh, we've got a casualty up the front and by going around the back that will keep him safe from, from that and possibly give him uh, an angle on the 
person who's pinning us. Right, I'm gonna pull you, I'm gonna pull him back. You got him. Right, we've got the plane! Move the laptop up! So we've secured the plane for now and we're moving the uh, one laptop up into position. Right, hold this, I'll go tell them that we've got the plane. So I'll skip ahead in the footage slightly here, you don't need to see me running down the, the path. Jack! But here I catch up with the, the other group. Right, where's the second laptop? And again, the thing I, I did enjoy about this game in particular was that although I d probably didn't rack up many many kills, although I did get we a couple. We hold the plane! Um, We've got the plane, if there's a laptop here get it there. Or give it to me. The team really gelled. I found, I found that we were we were effective, we got a here? communicating well, and uh, up to this point certainly had um, got what needed to be done done. Made sure that the people were in the right place at the right time. There's no laptop here. Through the slats in the barricade, I spot an enemy in the in the darkness of the woods. Right, we got one, at least one in there. We got three. Scott, we got three in. Do we win? So Rod's just returned from the, the plane. That's just got three in. Right, get everyone on the plane. Get everyone on the plane. No, because they'll fucking double back this week. We need to hold here because they can hold them off here, but we need to make sure. We can't. There's a number of things we could have done there. We could have pulled everyone back to the plane, made a, a, a stand there, tried to hold it for the remaining time. But Rod makes a, a good point. The barricades here form one of the main kind of arterial routes into the, the plane. Uh, any attack in force is going to require either movement through here or movement down at the bottom. If we can we can hold this and we've cut off one of their, their major points, we can hold this with less numbers than it would require to take it. Meaning that the people at the plane should always outnumber the remaining attackers. We're starting to take fire, and uh, one of our, our colleagues has managed to get himself killed in a bit of an unfortunate position just beyond the, the barricade. Also, beyond the barricade, you'll see in a moment uh, a chap near. I'll do a bit of uh, name checking here. A chap called Ross. Now, he is a professional photographer. And his site is Spectre Airsoft Media, and I do wholeheartedly recommend you, you check it out. I'll post a link in the description here. Um, I will say that he produces some of the um, best airsoft photography that I've seen really anywhere. So I'd, I'd definitely recommend that you, you check that out. So there you, go. you can see our guy who's been caught out in the, in the open. There's really no way of getting to him at the moment. You picked a really rubbish place to die. So for now, this is Major Clanger out. Please join me for part two to see if we see if we can hold on to this base and see if we can hold on to the mission.